Baby girl, all right, here we go. <laughs> pause, 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 pause. Oh my God, that was too funny, y'all. Hold on, I gotta give myself a chance to because <sighs> during Black History Month is crazy. <laughs> like during Black History Month is crazy. <laughs> Jesus, Ooh. bro, I'm glad Dr. Umar ain't seen. <laughs> Dr. Umar would have said, "You." <laughs> oh goodness, you sound like the older folks with that. What's wrong with them? Cause there ain't no other way to say that. Just what's wrong with them? What is the matter? Lord have mercy. Okay, y'all. Uh, oh, Jesus. That was too funny. Okay. We are about to get into Charlotte's England vlog, y'all. We, I'm so excited. We've been waiting on this. Her last vlog on her channel was 10 months ago. Okay. Um, and it was a Samoy trip that had happened like a year before. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Just an FYI, Nikki, some parts are going to be in Thai with no subtitles. Baby, we done watched whole ass videos. <laughs> we have watched whole ass videos in Thai with no subtitles. When has that ever stopped me? I don't give a damn about it. Is Charlotte going to be on the screen? Awesome. <laughs> uh, I knew it. <laughs> and I already knew that that was going to be the case because she speaks Thai fluently, not English. I mean, she speaks English, but she's still more comfortable speaking Thai. That must be that. that that's Daddy Blue. Something like that. Daddy Blue. Hi. 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 Yeah, you gotta have them. I need them AirPod Pros, man. I got the regular joints. I need them Pros, though. I heard everybody say they're really good. Oh, she watching Harry Potter, I think. Like somebody use that on as an ashtray and said, get us the hood, put some put some raspberry juice on that don't look like we ash is like <laughs> I mean I would still eat it. I would still try it. Y'all know me. I'll try anything once. สำหรับวันแรกนะคะตอนนี้ก็เป็นเวลาสามทุ่มที่นี่นะคะก็น่าจะประมาณเกือบ she's such a baby she gotta have a stuffed animal with her when she travel tomorrow's my birthday night night oh stink butt what's that what's that y'all Hey man, y'all in England, send me that. What was that? 
That look good. I'll try that. Can, can you send that to me or it's gonna perish or something? I can't have that. It's gonna go bad. Fish and chips. This one, hey, hey, I'm coming to the, ooh, that looks so, hey, man, when I come to the, when I come to the UK, bro, when I come to England, that's how I want, I want, I want y'all to take me to this. I want fish and chips as, yeah, for sure. I want fish and chips, and I want anything else that's like, um, I told you, I want like the local food. I want the local food. Yeah. Her brother. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Hello. Are you gonna hang back, Charlotte? Surprise the girls. We'll just say Charlotte can't come in. They were they, they, they were robbing, bro. It must be. One mouse on fire. It must be, yeah. No. Oh, oh, okay. I knew it. It's a caterpillar. Are those her nieces? Those must be her nieces. Hello, good morning, everybody. It's freezing cold, nine degrees, and am I going out yet? No, tea time. So that's you. You gonna take me to? I. You can tell that she gets a lot, obviously, because her dad was the one who raised her. If you heard her story, you know that her dad was the one who raised her majority of her life and you can tell and she even said that that's why she has like such sometimes like she can act like a dude like sometimes with her mannerisms and stuff like that but like you can see where she gets a lot of like i i love that she, we got to see her dad so much during her england trip because you really got to see a lot of where she gets her personality from and even like the little things like when she was uh playing with Fa's um chin when Fa was singing to her and she was at the lake and she was doing, she was like doing like that when she started getting shy, her dad was doing that to her. And I was like, oh, oh. I was like, that's cute. Football? No, you can't get down there. Sorry. And it's about 600 miles away. Oh, <laughs> 600 miles. She wanted to go to a football game so bad. I wanted her to go so bad too. Sent my photograph and my driving license to prove the local So cute. Bus pass. Go. She's like a real little English girl, I too. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. <laughs> it's quite alright. I need you, baby. Just a little bit. Hey, Charlotte. Yeah. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, Charlotte. You better. Bro, this is what she needs to sing. Yo, next time, man. Hey, yo, know what, man? Get this girl some classic oldies, um, American oldies. Get this, get, get this baby some classic American oldies, bro. Give her some classic American oldies, and I bet you she crush it. I bet you she crushes it. Guaranteed. Trust in me when I see. Mm. This is lovely, darling. Good call coming in. There. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She sounded good with the American songs. That's what I'm saying. Like, her nieces are so adorable. Look at them. I have a big spoon. What is he eating? Oh, what was he? Hold on. What are, what are they trying? Oh, they trying Thai food. I have some. I have a question. So, you know, like in America, because it's so uh, diverse because of immigration, um, we have like damn near any and every kind of food that you can think of. Like you can find Turkish you can find uh, like Ethiopian, Thai, Korean, Chinese. I know it may be an Americanized version. I'm not saying it's like authentic, authentic. But what I'm saying is we have like due to like immigration, we have like so much diverse food. They acting like they never had Thai food or it was like never. They never seen it before. Like y'all don't have like restaurants from different countries in England, I find that hard to believe because first of all, nobody colonized more than y'all. So I know y'all took a little something, something back. Y'all always do. And secondly, like I just, so many people flock to England. I would assume like immigrants, I mean, 
flock to England, I would assume that y'all would have just as much diversity in food as we do, but they acting like they don't eat nothing but porridge. <laughs> like, what, what is what is this? What, what's happening? Charlize, welcome, sweetheart. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I saw a video of UK kids trying our chicken soda and gravy covered biscuits. It was yeah, I saw them eating Popeyes. I saw that. I saw that. They probably do, but never went. That's what I'm saying. I'm, what I'm saying is in America, it's like customary to like, like damn near everything that we considered American food is not American. Like it comes from somewhere else, right? So what I'm saying is Americans are so accustomed to eating food from other countries. Like we don't even really have our own cuisine, except for if you ask me, barbecue and soul food is the real, is the real only American food. And so... I'm I'm wondering, like, is it that you have those things available in England, but y'all just don't indulge? Y'all just don't eat it? <laughs> you said porridge is crazy. <laughs> what y'all eat? I don't know. Um, I'm just asking, like, because is that like y'all have the option, but nobody does it? Because in America, it's like we we'll eat we eat like more foreign food than we do what you would consider American food. Like soul food and barbecue is really not eaten on a regular basis. We eat everything else though. And that's what I'm saying, Olivia, because I like, I know y'all gotta have the food. I know y'all have to have cuisine out there. I'm just asking if you actually eat it. I know you have it. You have to have it. Cause like I said, y'all done colonized everybody. Y'all colonized more than we did. So I'm saying, but Thai food is foreign even in America. I live in New York and that type of cuisine is now just, oh baby, Jim, no, 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 no. I was eating Thai food years ago. What? What? I find that hard to believe, especially in a, 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 a city as culturally diverse as uh, New York. Maybe, I guess maybe, but I've known, I, let me, I'll tell you this. I had Thai food before I had Filipino food, and I would say that Filipino food is more common in America than Thai food. And I know a lot of people like Vietnamese, Thai, bro, even can I've even had Cambodian. Oh, Jolly B, yes, bro. I'm just asking because this seems I, I don't I find that very hard to believe. Yeah, and Thai food is every, right. Charlie said Thai food is everywhere here in Michigan. It's everywhere, bro. Like I can literally, I I can literally go out, get in a car, and drive down the street right now, and not in ten minutes we'll see four or five different Thai restaurants. I think that y'all just not going out, and I think that y'all just not going out and actually seeing what's out there but to say that thai food is not common in america is brazy thai food is very common in america what is the food from another country that you like the most i think that out of all of the different countries and cuisines that i have tried i think that filipino was my favorite i think that filipino was my favorite Thai food is not common. It's small locations. NYC is different from the rest of New York. It has to be. Y'all must live in your own world. Y'all must live in your own world. Because there is, and you must not have ever gone outside of NYC, baby. I'm sorry. Because Thai food is very common. Thai food is very common. But Filipino, I would say Filipino for me. It, Filipino for me, bro. 100% Filipino for me. Um, as far as like, uh, what's the food that's not American that I like the most? Filipino food. I I'll eat anything. If you make me a plate of Filipino food, I don't got to know what the f it is. I'll eat it all. I don't care. Because I have never eaten something that was Filipino from that, that was made by Filipino and it was nasty. Ever. Ever. <laughs> Have a big spoon. She said, have a big spoon. I was like, nah. You think it's too much flavor for them? Uh, he said it's yeah. nice, really. Come on, talk to us. <laughs> oh, it's too hot. The one who finds it the most funny is... Hey, I hope you try the spicy food. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? I told you. I know. Is that what it is? Because I'm not going to hold you, but I know some Caucasians think that black pepper are, is spicy. Is that what it is? 
Maybe that's what it is with Thai food. And can y'all tell me, is that a myth? Is that because uh, why is that, is that a myth that uh, that Caucasian people can't eat spicy food? I feel like that's I feel like I don't know. I just know that ketchup and black pepper is considered spicy to a lot of American Caucasians. And that <laughs> I just think the palate is not prepared for the flavors and the spices. Maybe <laughs> maybe that's what it is. Is that Candy Crush? Oh, she's such a baby. Mm. Might be too much flavor. They used to beans and toast. Okay, I can get with that. Okay, you see, no, I eat spicy. That's why I'm here. I love seeing her out there. She seemed like she was so relaxed and happy. I love that girl seemed like she happy everywhere but in Thailand. That's crazy. She was happy in the US. She was happy in Thailand. I mean in England. That baby seemed to be happy everywhere but in the country she was born in. That's unfortunate. That's sad. There you go. Right. Never saw anyone arguing with a Google map. <laughs> okay, be quiet. English no, lady, to catch up with everything. That's why I specified instead of American Caucasians. Like American Caucasians tend to think that ketchup <laughs> and black pepper. <laughs> <is spicy. laughs> Let me just make sure I. I Please, you don't get my news. You girls. You girls. Is. The girls want for his hat. Right? Not that dog looking like they got the dog looking like a lion. That's crazy. Y'all saw how good I did. Y'all saw how good I did. I did good, y'all, did I? Yes. Restraint, Nikki. Restraint. Because. Is that a video or a picture? Okay. <laughs> Is that a good video or a picture? <laughs> yes, I said I'm from the UK. I don't do that. <laughs> Bro, I'm not gonna hold you. This whole vlog is just food, and I'm not mad at it. Baby girl was grubbing. Oh, that looks so good. Is that like salmon? Is that like raw salmon? Because I love raw salmon. Like, I eat salmon straight out the pack. Like, like, like the thinly cut joint like that. Like, I eat, I eat salmon straight out the pack. Bro. I did good, y'all. <laughs> Oh, baby girl. Not her matching the background because it's all like the dark, the brown shades and stuff like that. 
Bro, England is so beautiful. It's just so old and rustic and just like so historic is the right word. It's historic and rustic. Look at your dad try to run. Look, 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 look. He's so cute. Oh, they are so cute. I think the sheep are afraid of me. Ooh, why they got blue booties? Why they booties blue? Is that so you can know it's a boy or a girl or something? Can't you just look? Oh, she's so little. Oh, no. <laughs> she's so little. Don't do that, Charlotte. She's so little. Okay, Pops. Okay, with the moves. I see you, Dad. He's almost on you video with me. It's high dinner. See? See? Oh, God. You said, uh, whoa, Danish butter and salmon. That's interesting. Is that what that was, Jim? Danish butter and salmon? That sounds amazing. I love salmon. Like I said, I love salmon. Raw, lightly smoked or something like that. Like straight out the pack. My, 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 uh, my favorite is like the Alaskan, uh, the Alaskan caught smoke joint. Excuse me, straight out the pack, bro. I eat that joint straight just like that with some crackers or something. Or toast. Works too. Yeah, that was definitely the top. That was definitely the top dinner. Hold the peppers. They probably had like, like Charlotte probably had her own peppers to the side for real. Danish butter is the best butter in the whole world. I'm going to have to try that. Danish butter with salmon. That is a, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. I'm gonna have to try that, y'all. Let me see if Wegmans got some Danish butter. Hold on. Cause I'm gonna call my mom up and we're gonna run to Wegmans tonight. I'm gonna try that joint. At Wegmans. Cause Weg if Wegmans don't got a dang. Huh? <laughs> if Wegmans ain't got a dang. Huh? <gasps> y'all. Okay, let me find out. All right, y'all. All right, bet. I'm going to try the Danish butter. That's what's up. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try that. Baby, cold. That London, that London wind. About to knock you over, baby, cutting right through your little clothes. That's how they sort the sheep down. Okay, that's what I thought. Horse racing track. Hey, we got plenty of them over here. I used to go to the horse races all the time with my grandma. On my dad's side. You bet some, Sasha? You bet, baby? <laughs> Horse races are fun, bro. <laughs> Twice a time, these brothers. <laughs> what she got going on? But that London wind is tearing her up. <laughs> Fish and chips. Yeah, I would have been tearing them. I know that fish and chips over there just hit different, bro. Oh, we got a long gun for the line. Okay. Or Captain D's. I know that don't hit different. Okay. Gotta get that joint straight from the source, bro. We gotta go. We don't use umbrellas for that exact reason. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Why? For my baby, for Charles. For Charles. For what? For Charlie. Oh, for Charlie. When he comes next 10 years. <laughs> right, right. Dad was what? like, don't play with me, girl. For my baby. She's talking something for my baby. For my baby. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Why? Said, don't play with me. For my baby, for Charles. For Charles. 
If she, I actually think it would be cute if she named her son Charlie. That would be so cute, bro. If Charlotte has a son, she got to name her son Charlie, bro. Charlie Flo Woodarton. <laughs> Charlie Flo Woodarton. I said what I said. Charlie Flo Waterton. Charlie Flo Waterton. Oh. For Charlie. Oh, for Charlie. When he comes next 10 years. Pop said, nah, nah. Nah, nah. Girl, what you got on? Look at Pops. Who he think he is, bro? Who do Pops think he is? My man standing there posted. Dad, like, I'm going inside. This is where go. Oh, this one she was looking for uh, Chopper Capallo. Yeah, she might name her son Charlie for real. My man said next 10 years. I don't know that's right. She only 25. That would put her right at 35. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Flo Waterton. <laughs> you said it sounds good. You went there. I did. Dad, you said it's not far. <laughs> raining again. Welcome to London, boo. Welcome to London. Welcome to London. That boy should just stay in the air. Oh, okay. I thought I was like, that better not be it. Day nine. Baby girl was out there for me. Yeah, it's cold, cold. That's called a Sunday roast chicken. That came out like, look, that came out looking good. Damn. Clay, open the gate. <laughs> Clay, open the gate. No, they can see us. They can see us already. I am really free. Oh, the dog, <laughs> Where they almost lost, they almost that tad almost took my man. They almost they almost lost that current. I mean that current almost took my man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so dope. Yeah. She got this new year with her Thank family, you. man. Her nieces, her her brother. Hi girls, we get to do it again. Twenty twenty four. Bye. That's so sweet. Day ten. They on the train now. Going to London. Yeah, I remember this. She was so excited for this. She looking like a last day in England. She's like a real Londoner too. Pip pip cheerio and all that. <laughs> My accent is terrible. Bro, who was filming her? Her dad. That's crazy. She turned my man into a personal videographer. Oh wow, look how beautiful. Welcome to London. That's a beautiful train station, bro. Hey, Big Ben. Hey, Big Ben. I need to see this in real life, bro. I can't wait. I can't wait to go. What y'all call that? The Eye or something? What's that called back there? The, the Ferris wheel? It's called the Eye of London or something? I, I could be making that up. I'm sorry if, I, if, if that's wrong. Just correct me. Oh, them squirrels are too friendly. 
That's like the squirrels we got in DC, bro. They a little too friendly, bro. They come right up to you. Like, hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> like, no, I'm not a minute. I used to hate going in the city for that very reason. Since COVID, I ain't seen that many squirrels. Bro. Okay. That horse was trying to raise her up if y'all seen some of her uh, IG clips. That, that horse was definitely flirting. <laughs> that horse was definitely flirting.